Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Welcome to Exile Survival, brand new game that's just been recently launched onto the Play Store. Um, it's been about a week since this game has been launched and it's only been launched in selected countries so not everyone will have this game available to them in their respected app stores like Google Play or iOS. Um, I've been fortunate to identify that Australia has it so I have the game and I wanted to make a video and show you what this game is all about. So with that out of the way, we're gonna get right to it. And I just wanna give you guys a bit of um, a bit of context, a bit of understanding about the game as well. So it's actually been um, in development for quite a while. And a lot of the um, development has been taking place for, um, oh, for the period of uh, over, I think anywhere between three to six months to my knowledge. Now, I think this has been a little bit longer than that, but I've only been ch um, checking in time, uh, time to time uh, on the development page just to sort of check everything out. So now that we've actually got the game in our hands, I'll be able to have more of an in-depth um, look at everything, see how the mechanics work, see how you guys can um, actually uh, play the game and how it varies and differs from other games as well. Now, side note, <laughs> I thought I was actually recording initially, but uh, turns out when I made the quote unquote the initial video, the game kind of not uh, recorded. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run through what I did beforehand a little bit as best as I can, but also I'll give you guys a bit of a, um, a tutorial of everything as an overview so you have a little bit more of an explanation from me today. So with that, that, with that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so what we've got here is I'll go through what we've got here on the little hot and key bar at the bottom here. So right now what you're seeing is um, little packs and things like that that you can actually purchase if you want to go ahead and do that. Uh, gold is your currency here, so you can do that to purchase a few things over here. There is special offers that you can purchase as well. Some of these are time sensitive. If you really want to get the beginners in this pack, go right ahead if you want to support the developer. Uh, VIP doesn't appear to be um, available at the moment. We can go into stash here, so we've got some broth here, which is also on a time sensitive um, as well. So if you don't take that in that um, amount of time, then you've essentially lost it. And with that, you've got a bit of a storyline here. So there's a few things that we've got going on at the moment. So I'm just grabbing XP and things like that. As you can see, as you sort of do the tutorials and things like that. So um, when you actually start the game for the first time, there is a little tutorial mode that you guys can jump into and check out. And it basically just tells you where you need to go, things like that, and then eventually brings you to your home base where I am here at the moment. So. Um, at this stage, right now, um, I've already gone through a lot of it, so do apologise, but uh, hopefully you guys will understand. Anyway, so it's telling us there's a few things that we need to build and, um, and set up as well at the same time. And as you can see, there's a few things that we've got here. They are all time-based as well, so most of them will be, uh, except for your main quest and your storyline, so your daily quests here, they will have the time-sensitive things. And as long as you sort of complete those, then you'll get a little EXP at the end. You've got your weekly challenges as well, and then there'll be events. I don't think the events are up and running right now, so we'll have to leave those aside. This was a very interesting concept that's been brought into the game. This will be your active skills or your skill tree. So we've got um, we've got seven skills to choose from, and depending on what you want to sort of um, invest your time and effort into, you guys can definitely go ahead and do that at a later stage. Um, you will have the ability by the looks of things to reset points as well, or continue on to learn further skills if you want to go further into that, which I've just done. So I've just dropped a couple of points onto the Great Axes, which I have that there. And I think you don't have the ability to long press and it doesn't give you any sort of other description, but you can sort of move around here and sort of get a little bit more understanding of what is available here. But you can go ahead and reset the points if you want to, but it comes at a cost. So for now, we won't do that. But I guess this is really cool because you can do certain builds for your player as well, depending on what type of weapons that you um, that you choose, that you want to use and wield and all that sort of good stuff as well. You've got dual weapons as well. Um, I don't know if you guys want to do like an even spread across the board here. There's only 15 points to obtain. So there will be a point that you might want to sort of make a call to actually reset the tree, um, what that might be. So with that, 
you can always move over to your crafting menu here. And this is what we've got here available to us. So you've got the furnace, the carpenter's workbench here, which I'm going to build um, a little bit later on in the video. So we'll go ahead and do that as well at the same time. Um, and you've got the basic axe, clubs, swords. Um, so I might end up building one of those, create, uh, crafting one of those soon. You've got your copper hatchet, pickaxe, uh, your little satchel bag, the chest, bonfire. You got yourself a little bed, and you've got some basic um, armor that you guys can craft and equip yourselves with. Further down below, then you've got a few things here. You've got a lamp. I'm not too sure what that's all about. Um, what else do we have here? We've got some bronze items as well. So bronze will be another uh, uh, resource and material that you probably find in the game at a later stage. And you've got your clay pots and things like that here. So not a lot that's going on at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run and head out. We've already made a second chest as well. So that chest here was the original chest that came within your home map as well. Um, pretty much what you'll find is that you will have a lot of the resources lying about to set things up and sort of get a, a, a couple of things going along as well. So what I mean by that is you will have these garden beds that you'll have to um, fix up. So if you click on this guy here, it's got about three more minutes until it's finished or you can spend gold to speed it up. But it sort of indicates that there's a little green uh, cogwheel there that's in progress or something's happening there. The where it says yellow, you need to re, uh, rebuild essentially. And the grey cogs here would either be that nothing's happening at the moment, nothing's been built, nothing has to be rebuilt. In my case here, in everyone else's case here, you will need at least level 25 before you can actually start accessing the forge. So things like that that you just have to make a um, note about. Um, and which is kind of cool here, as you sort of um, increase your level as well, you can actually disassemble um, certain things as well and get raw material back in return, which is kind of neat. And then you, you got your well over here, and you can utilize the, the well to um, create lump of mud. In this case here, if we go back to it, there should be a creation bar here, there we go, and you can create yourself water bottles and healing elixirs later on. And this fella here, he's like your little guide here, and he'll sort of help you out in the early tutorial game as well, just to sort of get yourself a bit of an understanding and handling of the game, and how that sort of works. So right now, um, make your day easier, we'll leave that one aside for now. What did I do? I think I just went back into my home zone, but <laughs> it didn't mean to do that. Um, I just wanted to sort of run out a little bit and give you guys a bit of an overview of the of the map as well. And take two. So this is your um, over map here at the moment. And what you'll find is there's a few time sensitive areas, quite a bit of them actually. Um, you've got this little town, uh, well, let's say this would be like a little fortress thing over here, which is not, not accessible at the moment. And if you look around here, you've got a few things that are going on here. None of which is currently available except this little patch that we've got here. So I'm guessing at the moment that this is probably coming a little bit later on this area here. Uh, probably th uh, through a future update. So good to sort of check in and sort of give you guys a bit of an idea here. But with that being said, what we might do is I might run over to level 4, no level 4, I think I'm level 4. So it sort of shows you level based so you guys can sort of make a call and if you want to run into a certain zone you can definitely go ahead and do that. And what do we got over here? Level 30, wow okay, level 50. Right so I think for today I think we might do a basic zone. So let's go over here and we'll check out what we've got over here. You'll find that there'll be a little pop-up zone that will come over around here. This little uh, quadrant over here. That's what happened with me when I first started. And I think that will go away after a little while as well because it was a very, very short zone um, that was available at the time. So, but I think you can do any sort of sneak attacks here, which is quite a bit of a bummer. So you're sort of gonna have to sort of run in and then basically start you know, hitting him and stuff like that. You do actually get a better weapon to begin with and that dies out pretty quickly, so take that into account. If you want, you probably want to go ahead and probably save that. That'll be a good su uh, suggestion for you guys. 
um, probably hang on to it if that's uh, if that's what you want to do. If you want to use it at the beginning, definitely go ahead and do that. All right, so let's see if I can whoop. let's see if I can run further enough. If I run further enough, okay, they go away. All right, so let's just go and get one of these guys' attention. Come on, there we go. All right, one at a time. And another thing that you want to do is you just got to be careful. Your player will actually use the hit animation as well. But if the, circle, the blue circle is not um, illuminated around your enemy, he's not going to hit him. So let me demonstrate that a little bit better. I'm here, I want to hit him. You can see the health bar there, but he's not doing anything until the little blue ring is around. The enemy there, you'll have the ability to uh, take the enemy out. So you just got to take that into a little bit of a consideration there. It's a little bit different on how other survival games are played out. So I think that's just something there just to sort of make a bit of a note on. And as you can see, I've already got, you know, a, pick, um, a hatchet, a pickaxe, things like that. So I can pretty much randomly run around and just pick up a few things, farm a few things as well at the same time. And this is clay as well. You'll need clay and hide, I believe, to uh, create your armor set and things like that. And the armor set here is actually really, really good. So I'm actually considering to drop that and just have the basic one set up for now. And if I need it later on, I can sort of jump back into it and use it again. So yeah, I think I might just do that. Right, let's just get this boar over here. I'm gonna wait for that little blue ring, and then you should be able to take this guy out with, with minimal fuss. And take everything there. And there should be a chest over here. Ooh, we've got this guy over here too, so he, let's see how we go with this guy. chest and yeah, we've got those healing elixirs there fantastic so we'll go ahead and take that and I'll just eat up that and add that to my inventory here and we've got this guy over here he's keen wants to come over and greet me or not maybe let's just go back and see him that up I don't know what to drop that's the problem I want to keep the hide because I want to create my own set of armor ropes looks to be pretty important as well so I want to hang on to that as well at the same time so um, let's just go ahead and use the bread take the stone and pick up the copper and I just want to pick up as much copper as possible as well because it looks like you need that early in game as well just so you can um, rebuild a few things back at your home base as well so keep that in mind um, that is full. Pick up some of this. And let's just grab some of the wood. Thank you. And these are just little healing stuff. I've got quite a bit of heal, heals now at the moment, so I don't think I'll be needing that just yet. And so far, I haven't had a need to use any of my heals as it is anyway, so I should be fine with everything at the moment. So what we'll do is I'm going to quickly have a look what's required. So you need two, three so that's seven uh, ten you need about eleven pieces and you need some clay in between which the clay I'm not worried about it's more the hide that I need so I should be able to return home. I think I've got some hide back at base and if we grab some of that, we might be able to make up a, ourselves a little armor set. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, let's just travel across. Alrighty, so back at base. And what we 
we can do here if we really wanted to we can definitely drop some resources into here and get ourselves a second bed going as well and then that gives us the ability now to craft up um, uh, some more material there if we need it so what else I want to do is let's see if I can create myself another chest Resources over here. Let's just pick that up and I'll create another chest. Let's just take that, add that, and you'll notice as well when you actually create or craft certain items, you've got these four little slots here. So basically, where the, where the furnace logo here is, there's four little slots, and you have them for uh, various items as well to crafting as well you can actually have them in, in reserve um, that's how I'm sort of looking at it so basically in reserve and you've got that ability there to um, no, I need to go to the crafting menu for that one furniture menu there we go yeah and so you don't essentially need it on your actual player to um, yeah to actually um, have on hand or anything like that so basically it's like a little buffer and that will give you, yeah, a little bit more room to move, I guess. So once you sort of use up uh, materials and things like that, you'll be able to um, utilize the additional storage slots as like a temporary measure, which is quite kind of awesome, kind of neat. I actually do, do like that myself. Um, so what, right now I'm just dropping a few things back into my little um, storage boxes there. So I'm to see what this does. If I remove that, Okay, so it only removes that. So eventually we'll have large capacity to have more storage. But for now we've only got the very basics here right at the minute. So that's fine. What I want to do now is let's go ahead and craft up those basic equipment. So as you can see, if you wanted to create multiples of, of one thing, actually do that. I'm guessing this is going to come in handy as well. When you think about it, this would probably be a good thing when you're going to like um, harder zones or bases and things like that. And if you want to have, you know, four of the same armor set once your armor breaks, for example, you can probably just go back in here real quick or I don't know if you can sort of tap on it and equip it right from there from that menu. Or if you just have to sort of um, chuck it into your menu, sorry, into your inventory, and then go ahead and um, equip it, then you probably do it that way. So, again, just pointing out some, some bits and pieces that I like about the game so far. So, that's kind of neat. I am enjoying that at this minute. But for now, what I want to do is I'm going to dump a few things in here. So, let's just use some of these while this replaces it does. Because that looks pretty cool. Um, pretty cool armor set so I want to hang on to that for now and later on I'll go ahead and walk around with that and did I have anything else with the old set no so that's your full basic barbaric set I guess that you used to begin with and let's just drop this in here and here so far water haven't had any issues right now so I've got nine slots that I can use and I can sort of you know take it from there <coughs> excuse me all right so that's finished and that just gives us another oops no 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 uh, back into my inventory and that gives us that there again all right i'm just gonna eat it anyway and that gives you a little bit of water properties all right cool Let's just duck out again. Let's go to the very, very basic place over here, level two. So I'll, this is where I was beforehand. So it actually closes in a couple of hours. So I don't know if, do they, okay, they, they all have their timers there. Okay. So I don't know whether or not they reset upon leaving the zone. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna find that out now, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and enter that. Let's run back in. Uh, okay. So I was actually here before. 
and everything, no one's in here. So, yeah, okay. So they are time sensitive zones. So you only get a, a certain amount of time to um, loot everything if you need it. If you want to get all these heals, you can definitely go ahead and do all of that. As I'm doing that, I don't think I, I think I left something here. I'm not too sure what it was exactly. So that's the mud. Yeah, so, so far, very basic, not a lot that's going on at the moment. I guess with leveling up, farming and things like that, gives you accessibility to other zones as well, as you sort of go through the upgrade path and upgrade your player. The skill tree is probably the biggest thing that I'm most excited about for the game at the moment, and that gives us a little bit of an idea on where, the, where you can sort of get with the game as well. So I figured I'd just pretty much clean up this zone here. Not much else is going on here, so I think we'll leave that out for now. It's all good. Can I go into my little player here? I don't think I can click the menu, um, the health bar here. You do have, you do actually have auto mode as well. Now, I don't think that's active at the moment. So that, I'm not too sure. So, that's a level 4 zone. That's a level 4 zone. That's your level 3 zone. That's your other level 3 zone. Okay. So, I'm just going to travel home. I might check out those level 4 zones in another video. But I just wanted to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea of the game. And hopefully you guys actually enjoy this one. So, anyway, let me know in the comment section what you thought about the game. Hit the like button. I want to know if you guys do enjoy the game, if you guys have been waiting for the game as well to come out if you've been following it on the developer page as well. Um, comment down below, let me know if you are currently playing the game, let me know what you think. Um, and any questions, I'll try and help you guys out as best as I can, but again, this is all brand new to me as well at the same time, so uh, there's only so much that I know right now that I can sort of try and help you guys out. Uh, with so for, with that being said look we'll leave it here for today so i appreciate you guys stopping by checking out the video and i will see you guys in the next one